Hey there, I'm Simon Spaulding and welcome to Simon Cinema. Now this is the first official installment of my rental reviews. And if you missed my last video, I explained that I'm going to be splitting my movie reviews into ones that I saw in the theater and ones that I rented slash downloaded. So to kick off rental reviews, we have Cars 3. So Cars 3 came out in June of this year, and it follows the events of the first two Cars movies, and it follows Lightning McQueen, once again voiced by Owen Wilson. Now this follows Lightning McQueen as he tries to get back on his winning pace in his racing career after he starts aging and getting one-upped by newer car models that have more more advanced technology and after a very bad crash his career is in jeopardy but he tries to pull himself back into the game now honestly the first two cars movies weren't really that big of a deal for me I mean I really like Pixar movies I think they've made a ton of fantastic movies in fact I think they revolutionized kids movies by making them emotionally impactful I'll say it masterpieces. But the first Cars movie kind of seemed a little off track for them, no pun intended. It's not terrible, but it's not quite at the same level as the other Pixar movies that came before it. And then the second Cars movie is by far the worst Pixar movie to date. One of the big issues that made Cars 2 a bad movie was that they decided to focus on Mater, the comic relief character. And he got annoying so fast. And thankfully, he's really left in the background of this movie, and it kind of gets back to what the original Cars was. Not that the first Cars was anything brilliant, but it's back to not being trash that was just made to sell toys. The positives in this movie are first, obviously, the animation, because Pixar is at a level now that some of the things they put in their movies are almost photorealistic. It's that great. The backgrounds of this movie look absolutely phenomenal. Other than that, there's nothing that really jumps out as really, really good in this movie. The voice acting is pretty good. Lots of Owen Wilson wow moments. And the story does pull you in quite a bit, even if I did notice a few times where there were some contrivances to just push it forward and kind of give each character a motivation to do something. Really, other than the animation, I would say that this movie is just serviceable on every other front. My problems with this movie were that in the first act, there were a bunch of jokes that totally fell flat. The, the second and third act are definitely better. The first act is really boring, but after that, it picks up and kind of gets you interested. I don't really have that much to say about the Cars movies because they're just kind of run-of-the-mill average kids movies. And for a studio that's as accomplished as Pixar, that feels like a disappointment even though it really shouldn't be. So I would say if you want to rent a family-friendly movie, Cars 3 is perfectly fine. It's not going to be the greatest family movie ever. It's just going to keep the kids' attention and maybe keep your attention too. But it's enjoyable for what it is. Really, I walked away from this movie thinking, okay, that was a movie. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't that good either. But I don't feel like I was completely let down. And really, in some ways, that can be a detriment to your overall experience because sometimes when you watch a bad movie, you're at least passionate about noticing how bad things were. Or when you watch a good movie, you're passionate about the good things you recognized. With middle-of-the-road quality movies, they almost feel like they're the most disappointing because they just don't stick out in your mind. So for those reasons, I'm going to give Cars 3 a 6.3 out of 10. So that's it for my first rental review. 
Thanks everybody for clicking on this video and be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like it. Tell me your thoughts on Cars 3 down in the comments if you've seen it. Thanks and have a great day.